That's correct. Well, a law professor here at Villanova is also a specialist in immigration law. She has a client that was caught up in the turmoil of this weekend. Now, he has been reunited with his family, but his family wishes not to be identified. As for the law professor, she says on Saturday, things were anything but standard operating procedure. I think everything has been thrown into chaos at this point. No! As protesters jammed the airport Saturday, Villanova law professor Caitlin Berry was trying to talk to her client, one of several passengers detained because of where they had been born. I was told that my client had no right to have an attorney and that I would not be permitted to speak with them. Um, he was also not permitted to speak with family. Her client possessed what had been a valid immigration visa, but with the stroke of the president's pen on Friday, it was no longer acceptable. Barry says he was one of four at PHL facing immediate deportation. I was only told by Homeland Security that all that this group of people would be put back onto a plane um, and forced to uh, and forced to leave the United States. As protesters chanted, lawyers worked and a judge in New York issued a stay. The feds backed off, but not before the four spent a night in the Delaware County Jail. They were placed in, um, in uh, prison cells there and left overnight, and then Sunday morning returned to the airport and freed to go on their way.